Inside Show Express Training. This is Darren Field, and in today's video, I'm going to be covering the new APC Mini, and I am super stoked to talk to you about it. And I'm going to show you how to get it set up in Show Express. So remember, APC Mini, I love the board. I talked about it in the Imagine Master Series. There is some limitations to the, to the board itself regarding color. There was red, yellow, and green. Um, you had to get creative and live and try to put blocks and all that jazz. Overall, the board feels nice, but the new APC Mini Mark II that just came out is RGB. So now we can color code our buttons. The overall feeling of the board feels very good, feels solid. The response to the buttons are nice as well. So I'm very excited about integrating this board into your light shows. Um, it's going to help mobile DJs, events, anything, because now we can color code your buttons and you don't have to guess or you don't have to reference your monitor um, regarding the red, the red column of which, you know, of your scenes. So now it can be um, very easily integrated into your workflow. Um, so very stoked about that. So let's get it set up. There's been a few problems that people have been having of getting this set up. So I want to clear that up and yeah, so let's get started. So we're in Show Express. And to bring in the MIDI board, go to Lighting Controller Preferences MIDI. Make sure you add it. If it's not, double do a drop down. Um, you're going to have Notes or Control. Make sure it's Control for APC MIDI Mark II. And make sure your MIDI in and MIDI out is enabled. Click Apply. And for you, if you need to restart, go ahead and restart the program. And to get this active, plug in the board first, then open up the software for Show Express and then it should load in. All right, so now we're set up. So let's do some colors here. So to assign a button for MIDI, we're just gonna right click on the scene, button trigger, head over to MIDI, MIDI in, MIDI out. We're gonna click learn. Now let's, let's do it, um, let's do it right here. And you can see it brought it in. And let's do one and let's just do zero when it's applied and let's click apply and wow, it's activating and you can kind of see a little bit of light, but it's really, really dim. Okay. So here's the problem that many people are facing that they're complaining that it's very, very dim and it's very frustrating because you're like, wow, why isn't this so dim? Well, there's a few extra steps that we need to do for this board in Show Express, and I'm going to show you how to fix the problem. So, let's go to akaipro.com. I want you to go to the product page for ABC Mini Mark II. Go to Downloads, download the user guide, and here's the user guide. Go on all the way down, and we're gonna go to where it says RGB LED behavior, solid blink and pulse. So looking at this, MIDI channels up to 15, here we go. Each channel has a function, 10% brightness of the button or 100% brightness, or you can have the button pulse or blink. So when it we're set at one, it's only at 25% brightness, so it's going to show it not very bright. So this is going to be our problem. So how to fix this, is we need to go to number six on our 100% brightness. So let's right click, button trigger, and under our channel, we're not gonna change it under the MIDI in, we're gonna leave it as channel one, we're gonna change it as MIDI in, and click apply. And now you can see the button is brighter. Now, there is, going back to the manual, we're gonna scroll on down here, these are the velocity to RGB color charts. Now each color does have some dim colors that might show up a little bit dimmer. So what I've done is done a little quick guide um, that has the, it's just a quick reference guide that I've gone through each channel to show you which um, color is for each. I'm bringing it up here. For each, uh, for each data, for the velocity. So we have three, 
is light blue, 5 is red, 8 is white, 9 is orange, 13 is light green, 17, and so on. So let's go ahead and off this guy and let's go to, say, 5. If we want red, click on 5, and now we have red. All right, let's go to, say, 33 for teal. I'm going to go to 33, and teal, click apply. There we go. So this is going to be available as a download um, under Show Express Download, so be sure to grab this so it's a quick and easy process for you on your setup. All right, so for part yellow, let's go ahead and do yellow for 61. Button trigger all the way to 61. And now we have yellow. All right, so we can just do blue here, button trigger blue, mini in, mini out. Let's do blue here, clone. And let's see our blue is, we can do either do light blue, let's do 41. Pretty sweet, right? This page is on solo buttons, which is causing it to go back and forth, but you can see the idea. Awesome. So now I'm going to show you the differences on the pulsing and blinking. So like I mentioned before, we have pulsing and blinking. So let's go to number 10. So if you want your button to pulse, let's go to 10, apply, and now you can set your button to pulse. All right, so now let's do it, set it to 15 for blinking and a half. And now your button is blinking. So you have pulsing, which is like a fade, blink, it's on and off, or you have static. So this is how you get started with the APC Mini of how to set it up in Show Express. Be sure to go to Show Express Downloads to download the color chart for a quick and easy guide. And if you need to reference anything, go to the manual um, regarding the pulsing and blinking, um, or you can drop that brightness down and just sit on the right channel. All right, so that's how you get it set up. Until next time.